Hi, I'm Joel Goodman and today I'm going to help you out with the waltz in G. This is a grade two piece from 2017. Right, here we go. So you're grade two, you hopefully know uh, the first note of the right hand. Don't forget there's an F sharp in the key signature, which means it's in G major. Could be E minor, but this is in G major. Also, the title tells us that. Watch out for bar four, finger four, squashes up to E. Bar six, you've just finished on a B, finger four squashes to C. And then thumb under in the last bar. Okay? Left hand. Right. The left hand of this piece is what gives the piece of music the waltz uh, character. A waltz has the sound boom, ba, ba, or one, two, three. Play the bar one and just kind of keep it going a bit. And you could also have a bit of fun and play G major in the other hand. You could do this. You could do his quavers. Okay? Um, so make sure that hand that rhythm, the thumb moves out for bar two. All under the hand, first move of the left, under to A. Okay, here's line one, hands together. And we're on to line two. Uh, you may have noticed they've got coffee brewing in the background, so in a sec I'm going to take a tea break. You don't have to do all your practice in one go. We just had a go at line one. Maybe go and do something else, watch some TV, do a bit of homework, have a sleep, uh, and then come back to the piano. Um, I'll do the right hand, then I'm going to have a drink. So, right hand, line two. We are starting on D, a dotted minimum lasts for three beats. One, two. Three. Don't forget all the F's yeah, so far are sharpened because of the key signature. Three. Now we squash up to E, C sharp, squash up to C sharp, A sharp, C sharp, B. The rhythm on those few bars there are very easy, just uh, it's all on the beat, but the notes are not so easy. We've got lots of sharps. So this is from the fourth bar of line two. B, D, C sharp, B, squash, C sharp, B, A sharp, B, C sharp, B, and then we go under C, C sharp. So look at the left, starts the same. change to 1 and 3, and then C sharp and D, and the hardest bit I think, F sharp and D, and it sounds weird, so you'll think you've gone wrong in your practice, you haven't, F sharp, D, B, here's line 2, left hand. Two seconds and I'm back to the piano. Now just remember with your practice, have a break, alright? If you're getting frustrated, tired, just have a break, come back to it. Thankfully I didn't spill that on the carpet, otherwise I would be dead. Right. Never put your drink on the piano, even if it's 
Well, no matter what it is, even if it's rubbish, the whole piano. Don't put your drink on the piano. Right, here we go. Up to halfway, hands together. Let's move on. Okay, right hand. It's all single note melody, okay? So that is quite easy for you guys at grade two. Just learn the notes. It's not hard to play. section of the piece we've got some staccato notes here finger staccato think of playing a, a guitar pull back like a pl plucking a string same here same here now the next one I like to do it's in the wrist and, and actually the first time that I know of that this is taught in the grades is grade six uh, when you have to do, I think it's thirds, wrist staccato, okay? And it's like, like bouncing a basketball, all in the wrist. Okay, I like that ending. So two different types of staccato. You have finger staccato, and then the wrist, or basketball staccato. All right, left hand, last line. in G, here we go. in G. Um, I hope that video helps and if I can help you out with any of your other pieces or things you're working on for your grade two, uh, just write a comment down below and if you can press like and share so I can uh, 
uh, help more people with their piano and uh, build this channel up a little bit, I'd be really grateful. So good luck with your practice. Don't forget, take a break in the middle sometimes and uh, catch you on the next video. See ya.